a, and a very packed uh, room tonight. You know, if this does pass, it will translate into about $80 for the average property owner. That may not sound like a lot, but you think of it this way, that is two gallons of gas for an SUV like, or sorry, two full tanks of gas for an SUV like this one, which could last more than two weeks. And some tell us that any increase is just too much because their budgets are already pulled too tight. Brad Dewey is already cutting it close. He's on Social Security looking for a job, and he can't afford a tax increase. I'm in a bind. I can't depend on just Social Security to keep my mortgage paid and all the regular bills and keep food on the table, too. Tonight, these chambers will be packed with people like Dewey as council members decide whether to finalize a 9% property tax hike. The average homeowner would pay about 80 extra dollars a year, but some say it's too much and the city could be more efficient. All these fees are taking a toll You could say this is an 11th hour attempt to get people moving. Landing owner Tony Slayman says he helped fund this ad for one reason. We're just hurting. All of us are hurting. People are, people are hurting. People can't afford another 9% raise in taxes, and it's got to stop. When you're talking about a city of a million people, and we're spending $500 million a year just on services, something's wrong with that. They've got to figure out how to cut. We talked to the mayor's office about these ads, and they say Slayman's entitled to express his opinion, and that this budget is a reflection of major spending cuts and a millage rate adjustment. In fact, we found that not everybody opposes the tax hike. In an email Claudia sent to the city, she writes, Many of us support what the mayor and council are attempting to do. Nobody likes the idea of raising taxes, but it seems like a rational approach, and that the loudest people will get all the attention, but they are not the majority. And we know there have already been quite a few budget cuts here in the city, and the mayor's office is saying that lawmakers will have to come up with $45 million more in budget cuts to keep the millage rates where they currently are. So, Bruce and Stacy, what's happening here tonight and this afternoon, they are expecting hundreds of people. In fact, there, there is even a taxing tailgate party that's taking place here at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, people that are, that are against this tax increase, this millage rate tax increase, are encouraged to come out here at 4 o'clock, meet in front of City Hall and then stay throughout the meeting, which is expected to last well into the night. We are live at City Hall, Nikki Kimbleton, Channel 4, the local station. By the way